20 quite affordable skincare items that you can pick up that work so well for women over 40 is the topic we're gonna get into today. I'm excited to be able to do this video with you today because I've been getting asked so much what my skincare routine is and if I go through that and I'm going to do that for sure. I'm going to put a timestamp right here where you can skip over all of my intro where I go over what I'm wearing for clothing and that kind of thing because lots of people just come here for the skincare. They don't care about what I wear. So I'm going to put the timestamp right here where you can do that. So we always get started with what I'm wearing and I'm excited about this shirt because simply it just makes me feel a little bit chic and a little bit more dressy than I normally do. It has the three buttons down the side and a ruching across the tummy, which has a tendency to hide your tummy, which I like very much. And then it has this one shoulder detail, which I like too. And I don't have to wear another bra. I can just wear my regular bra and get away with it without having to wear a strapless, which I absolutely love. Jersey knit material and it's a t-shirt length. So this has been so good and it almost feels like it has a little bit of a fall vibe to it and I'm ready for fall because it's been blazing hot here. It's been absolutely crazy. And I'm also wearing a really pretty little heart link necklace and that I am just absolutely in love with. If I could get this in real gold and afford it, I would do it in a heartbeat because this is just the cutest little necklace. I absolutely love it. And then I do have some gold filigree earrings on today that I love so much. They have little tassels on the bottom of them. So they give a lot of dimension as they move around. I just think they're so pretty. And as always, everything that I'm wearing on my face for makeup, all of my nail polish, my jewelry, the shirt, everything will be listed and linked down below. And when we talk about links, a uh, number will come up right here on the screen as I'm talking about each product. And I will number down below in the description box each product from one to however many we get to 20, which is what I said at the beginning, we're doing 20. So from one to 20 today, we're going to be doing that. And when I hold up, let's say number three, you don't have to worry about what the name of it is or you know writing it down really fast just remember that you liked number three go down into this description box and look for number three next to it will be that product with the link and you can go ahead and shop that way people have been really enjoying that it seems to be very easy for everybody all right that's it for the intro let's get into the juiciness of this video the first product that i'm going to talk about is the CeraVe makeup removing cleansing balm i'm excited to share this with you because it really does take off all of your makeup it's kind of a solid when you start out and then the warmth of your fingers will make it turn into an oil and then you just you know buff it all over i use it in conjunction with two towels and i have the ones that i used this morning as i was doing this video so yes they look terrible i have two towels that i use this is a, a reusable pad instead of using the cotton that we have these come out white for me almost every time even though it looks pretty gnarly right there and gross and the same thing with my towel right here i will make sure that i link both of those for you below so that you have those and you can see what I use. These make taking off makeup an absolute dream and you will not have anything left when you're done. This is all my nighttime routine. After that, because it is an oil-based, I will go in with another cleanser and I use the Ordinary Squalling Cleanser and I love this. I think that this is such a good cleanser for taking everything else off and if there's any residuals left of your makeup, it's gonna take the rest of that off. It's very lotion-like product. It's not greasy at all and it leaves your skin feeling squeaky clean. And I also use this in the morning as my cleanse after I wake up. So that one's good too. So this could get a little bit confusing as to what the order is of these and everything. So what I'll do is after I do the whole entire list of everything and link everything, down below it, I'll put the routines and you know what I use when. So it's a little bit easier for you to remember. So both, both morning and night, I'm gonna go in with what I consider spot treatment treatments. Instead of using a product like um, The Ordinary's Argeroline, I love this. This is considered Botox in a bottle. And as many of you know, I have gotten Botox very recently. I feel like this helps extend the life of that, but I also feel like there are so many women, and me included, before I did start getting Botox, that it just really, you know, helped those muscles to relax. And that's what Argeroline does. So I will spot treat with this. I have them here across my forehead and around my mouth. 
and so i will use our zero lean twice a day and just use those use it as spot okay. treatment this one is from cause de baja and this is the tranexamic acid with niacinamide now what this does is it helps with hyperpigmentation and it also helps with uh dark spots redness that kind of thing it's going to be very brightening so again this is a spot treatment for me i have a lot of melasma right here around my neck i've developed it very recently i don't know why what's going on but it's very pronounced and it drives me crazy so i'll just use a little bit of this in my hand i'm going to spot treat those areas first and i'm going to spot treat the areas where i have scarring or um, age spots and then redness right here so that is a spot treatment again not all over your face unless you want to you can definitely use it all over your face if that's something that you like i don't want to forget that the ordinary has recently come out with an eyelash growth serum and i really love this because it doesn't sting like some of my other eyelash serums that i've gotten in the past there's nothing in it that makes you feel like you know you might be putting something weird on your eyelashes it's a great product i feel like between that one and the x lash which i can list below for you too and you can try it if you want to it makes my eyelashes i've been using that one for five years and it makes my eyelashes super duper long but this has been a tremendous boost and enhancement to the thickness of my eyelashes as well and i'm really loving this one i have two different products that are the bifida serum that i do talk about and with galactomyces in it and i have a whole entire video if you want to learn about those they are tremendous products for softening lines and wrinkles and the texture of your skin and the firmness of your skin and especially the brightness and they're super antioxidants i use these morning and night now i am using the benton fermentation um essence right now and that's the one that i'm using up right now i do prefer the cranicel bifida serum and that's the second one that i'll talk about you're going to get that same beautiful benefit to your skin and the brightening to your skin i've been using cranicel for probably a good five years as well and i found the benton one when cranicel sold out during covid and this one is every bit as good and i didn't notice that my skin just even skipped a beat so if you can't find cranicel this is the the next best thing to it and i absolutely love the benefits of brightening and firmness and all the great stuff that it does for my face i also now, want to talk to you about the eye cream that i use because this is a bifida eye cream same thing it just helps with those dark circles helps soften the fine lines it's such a good treatment and i have been one that has always just felt like just put your skincare up underneath your eyes right just do all of that and you're gonna you know get the same effects that you would if you were using a separate eye cream but this eye cream is so concentrated and it just really helps around my eyes so i use this morning and night as well because it is one of those brightening agents softening firming all of the yummy stuff that bifida does is in here in a concentrated form now i'm a huge believer in trentinoin or retin-a and i think that if you can get a prescription you absolutely need to get a prescription from your doctor and make sure that you do use it according to whatever they direct you to use it as i use my prescription retin-a maybe once a week maybe twice a week because i'm at the strongest and my skin is a little bit sensitive as i've come into menopause but i don't want to lose the benefits of you know using a really good retin-a or retinol product so i just came across the ordinaries and i don't know if many of you realize this or not but it really is a good thing to use a vitamin c in conjunction with a retinol product um it, they boost each other vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e they all boost each other they're really good together the vitamins work in conjunction in our body so why wouldn't they work you know on our skin the same way so i decided that i was going to pick up the granactive retinoid five percent in squalene from the ordinary but i knew that i wanted to also have another vitamin c product to go along with it so i picked up the other vitamin c that is also in an oil from the ordinary and this is a scorbal tetrasopalmitate solution 20 percent in vitamin f now this is a very stable form of vitamin c but it's a very mild form of vitamin c so it's a really good one and you can go ahead and mix these two together in some drops and that's what i will show you that i'm doing right here but in order to even boost it further i decided to go ahead and pick up the gaya body care 
Ageless Facial Treatment 5% Bakucha Oil. And I just mix the three of these together. Now, if you haven't heard of Bakucha Oil, this is supposed to be a really good alternative for Retin-A because it gives you the same benefits of it, maybe not as quickly, but it does definitely give you the same benefits without any sort of the side effects that Retin-A can have. So I put the three of these together and I've been doing this for a couple years now. And I absolutely love how smooth and yummy and just absolutely baby but soft this leaves my skin in the morning my skin feels so good even when i'm using it at night i can tell that my skin is just getting so supple and so soft i love using oils on my skin don't be afraid to use these kinds of oils on your skin if you're somebody that is very oily this will help balance the oil in your skin and really truly this is a great alternative to a prescription retin-a product i love these now lastly at night i use usually go in with my Sukoyaka Suhada. This is the Urea Cream. This is an extremely thick product. This is hyper moisture. This is super moisture. I mean, I slather this around my eyes at night and I wake up and I can still feel the tackiness on my eyes, but they also have the ability to have a small property of exfoliating and, but it's super duper gentle. And because you can do that around your eyes, the skin around your eyes can re be renewing itself all the time and turning over all the time too. There are very few products we can put around our eyes and, you know, have them not irritate our eyes, but still get the sloughing of the skin there because that skin needs to slough just as much as anywhere else in order for us to have the pretty baby new skin come through. But what I found at the drugstore, this one is from Ucern and I have been absolutely enjoying the heck out of this. This has been so nice. It is so hydrating so it locks in all of my skincare for the night you know you hear people talk about slugging or putting vaseline on their skin i personally don't feel like putting petroleum on your skin is the very best thing that you could do however lots of people have done it for years and they have the most beautiful skin ever so you do you no matter what but this is a fabulous alternative to my all-time favorite if you can't get your hands on this if you're somewhere that you can get your hands on you soon i do want to say that once or twice a week i will go in with the ordinary um aha bha peeling solution be very careful with this um five to ten minutes and you're going to have plenty of time to get this uh skin off it's a chemical peel and it's very strong so if you have very sensitive skin you might want to do a patch test first but once again this is such a good product for peeling off the old dead skin and helping your complexion look bright and youthful because you get to see that baby skin that's underneath so once or twice a week more like once a week because my skin's fairly sensitive to that in the morning i'm going to get up and i'm going to cleanse my face again with the ordinary squalane and then i'm going to go in and i'm going to start off with the ordinary glycogen glycolic acid 7% toning solution. This is my absolute favorite daily glycolic acid because I can use it every day and it does help to very gently slough off the dead skin and this makes my skin super soft right after I use it. I always notice that. So this is what I use daily and even though my skin is a little bit sensitive through menopause, this works so well for me and yeah, I really love this one. The next thing that I do is I go in with another very watery toner this is from the good molecules niacinamide brightening toner this has such good ingredients in it and i've been using this one for years actually probably not very much in here is very new to you if you've been with me for very long formulated with niacinamide vitamin c arbutin and licorice root extract to brighten and improve the appearance of enlarged pores now what i found and you've heard me say this before again is within two weeks i was looking at my face going going are my pores diminishing and truly it was this is the only thing that was changed is this product and so i'm a huge proponent of the good molecules line anyway and the ordinary line because i think that they are such affordable skincare that you can build a routine that is so solid and not at a very hefty price i think that's so important if we're on a fixed income i think it's important anyway to you know watch what your your pennies and everything like that but if you're somebody that really wants super good skin skincare not kin care 
yeah not kin care super good skin care on a budget you're going to love the good molecules line and you're going to love the ordinary right hair. after that i'm going to go in with those spot treatments that we talked about the tranexamic acid and the argiraline then i'm going to go in with the eye cream and then i'm going to go in with the urea lotion from suko yakasuhara this one is actually my moisturizer this is what i've been using for years as my moisturizer i put it in my hand and i just put it pat pat it all over my face and it just has worked so well for me love 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 this i think it's just fantastic then i'm going to go in with their eye cream and if you have not tried this I have touted this till I'm absolutely blue in the face. And I know you guys are so sick of hearing about these three products from them, but these have truly saved my dry skin from everything. Um, when you see me on camera and you see that I have a glow, I attribute that to these three products because they are so moisturizing and they've helped me through so many times when my skin is sloughing from, you know, Retin-A or I've gotten maybe a burn from something or a dog has scratched me or whatever. These products are so soothing, so moisturizing. They've gotten me through so much. And the eye cream does the same thing. And if you're a mature woman that is always worried about, you know, her lines and stuff, plump those babies up with some really good moisturizer. And I really, because these are so light, and even if you're oily, you're gonna, I really think, love them, even though they're hyper moisturizing. Lastly, of course, I'm definitely not gonna leave out sunscreen. That's my last thing that I do. Dermatology's Universal Skin Tint. This is an SP of 46 and this is this has been my ride or die forever for as long as i can remember but this is really moisturizing so it's not going to dry you out but i did find this one this is the botanical 30. it's still high enough in an spf to do you exactly what you need to so it this is a water resistant one for 30 minutes and i wanted to put it in here this is 100 percent mineral sunscreen it says anti-aging and antioxidant rich and long lasting protection water resistant up to 80 minutes i wanted to put it in here because i've been using it this summer it's a mattifying more mattifying product so if you're somebody that does have that oily skin and you find that any mineral sunscreens that you use they just feel terrible on your skin because they get to feeling like a grease ball believe me i understand that even though i am a dry skin girl a mineral sunscreen can get really greasy but this one doesn't and i really am impressed by how this does on my skin on the days that it has been so humid i'm absolutely loving this one but that was my skincare routine and like i said it just doesn't change that much so i like to bring this to you about every six months so i do appreciate you watching today and if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up please never feel like you have to buy anything that i show here because you probably have a skincare routine already so make sure you tell me down in the comment section below what skincare you're using and how effective you feel like it is for you i would love to hear that from you right now we're going to put up on the screen a video that will talk about more skincare let's just do that so you guys can go over and see follow through and see if maybe anything has changed in my skincare and if it hasn't you know that they're right or die so let's put that up on the screen i hope that you're all doing really well let's meet back here very soon i love you friends please take care of yourselves see you soon Bye bye